Okay, this is uh, just a little bit different. It's uh, like taking higher order derivatives. Um, we're going to take the uh, second partial of x. And uh, what that means is we're going to take the first partial and then we're going to take the derivative out with respect to x. So let's just uh, get started here. So we have the first partial with respect to x. Remember we treat y like it's a constant. So we take 4, we bring it out full front, and 4 times 4 is 16. x to the third, rewriting y, plus, and then the derivative of this term here with respect to x, we bring the 8 out front, 8 times 3 is 24, x to the seventh, and uh, rewriting y. And we take the second partial. So now we take the derivative once again. And uh, we'll have uh, bring the 3 out front. So 3 times 16 is 48. Subtracting 1, the exponent, and rewriting y. Plus, now uh, taking the derivative of this term, so bring the 7 out front. So 24 times 7 is 168. x to the 6th, and rewriting the y. So that would be the second partial with respect to x. Now, doing the same with y. We come up here, so we take the 6, bring it out front, we get 24, rewriting x, that's y to the 5th, plus, doing the same, bring the 5 out front, that becomes 15, rewriting the x, that becomes y to the 4th. Now, for something a little bit different, they're asking us, in this one here, take the derivative of x and then the derivative of y. Well, we took the derivative of x, and this is it here, the partial with respect to x. Now they're asking us to take it with respect to y. So f of x, y is equal to, so we take the 6 and we bring it out front, and 16 times 6 is 96. Rewriting x cubed y to the fifth plus now we're going to take take it with respect to y again the first partial with respect to x so we bring the five and bring it out front twenty four times five is one twenty rewriting x. And that becomes y to the 4. And I'll uh, leave the last one for you.